Howdy y'all, welcome to another edition of Getting Outdoors. And we are out picking the garden today. It is, oh, was it the 16th of July? Um, and the heat has really turned on. It's about 98 degrees out. And so a lot of this is going to be coming to an end. Um, but we're going to try to have these tomatoes survive as long as possible. So we got some cherry tomatoes. That one's oh, probably oh, six feet high uh, right now on there. And as you see, I uh, still have a whole bunch on there that are red and green there. Uh, we've got some larger uh, tomatoes around over here ready to be picked, some that are just turning red, and of course some other tomatoes here. Now, if you know, we had um, some squash and zucchini in here, and this is where they uh, were up until a couple days ago. And I pulled all those out because I had uh, yellow mosaic virus on them. And uh, what that is, is a virus that your yellow squash starts getting green. Um, it's not harmful uh, to eat, uh, but it makes the skin real hard. And I heard that um, the, the taste is not as fresh. So I pulled up everything that did not have that disease. Um, and it looks like this one may have that. So let me show you here real quick. Uh, see if you can see yep so that's got some yellow uh, on it uh, I'm sorry some green on it I'll see if that's just from the growth or if it continues being green then I'm gonna go ahead and pull that plant up um, so pollinators can cross that and also they said uh, your utensils garden utensils can uh, get the virus from one to another and it can go on other plants so uh, it may just be done with our zucchini and squash for this year. Uh, again, another good size tomato. Uh, and we haven't been getting a lot of big tomatoes until recently. Uh, so it's a pretty good size. Oops, sorry. Pretty good size there. Um, the size of my palm. Uh, no cracks and stuff, even though we've had a lot of rain this spring, um, which is certainly helped the growth of these plants you can see that they're still nice and green and lush in here um, which also makes for the weeds a very vital part for them to uh, grow so let's go over here let's check out what we have in our uh, cucumbers Ooh, look here's another nice size red red tomato there oh that one's got a little bit of split uh, to it but It'd be a nice, nice ones for some BLTs. Um, so our pickles, oh, sorry, our cucumbers have made tons of pickles this year. And you see this trellis has worked out awesome. And this is just a cattle panel, 16 foot cattle panel that I've hung uh, from one side and just made a big U, you know, an art here. But look, um, you can see how well that is done in just getting them where they just hang, hang out. So we've got several of them uh, in here that you can see that we can uh, pick off from. Uh, again, these are starting to, uh, the heat starting to get to it. Uh, you're getting some browning uh, down below, uh, but we'll continue with this, I think probably this week will be uh, the last week for the uh, cucumbers uh, back here. Um, and then maybe we'll get into some fall um, and see if we can maybe get some peas or something to, to grow up. But I have made, I would say, probably over 75 jars of pickles. Uh, and uh, we've made dill pickles and mostly and a few of the bread and butter uh, pickles. So uh, let's see what we got over here is some green beans. 
and I'm sure I can find some up in here somewhere even though it's like I said when it turns hot it's usually when they stop producing and they start dying um, but there's typically there's typically some Bottom. You see that? So, yep. And there's one over there. So here's. There's one. There, look. Let me get the. So we get some more green beans uh, in here. And again, these are getting to the end stage here. Didn't get a lot of, of green beans. Um, I don't know why why that is, but uh, we've had one probably full um, dinner, and then I think I've got one package inside. So again, that's the inside garden. So let's go check to see what the outside garden is doing. All right, we're out in the outside garden now, and um, we have these flowers here. You know, I think I've shown you to you before that I'm not sure if this is what helped with the pollination of um, our tomatoes and cucumbers um, but I don't think they hurt um, let me show you real quick what the mosaic yellow virus does so that's supposed to be a yellow squash there first of all uh, it deforms the plant and the fruit and it is a very hard uh, outside so uh, those are uh, no good uh, now and will be uh, thrown out so there's here's our chocolate sprinkle tomatoes so they're a darker tomato and actually uh, has more depth and flavor very good um, hardly any acid taste uh, whatsoever uh, to it then we've got our okra that's right here uh, looks like we've got Need to throw some BT uh, spray on it because uh, we have it's like caterpillars and whatnot uh, getting after it. So need to get uh, to that there. Um, then we've got our um, I guess acorn squash uh, down there. A couple of eggplants there, and this is uh, a little pumpkin patch, uh, and this was growing outside of the garden and I transplanted some of them about a month back and let me show you where where I transplanted them from is right here and you can see there's a big old pumpkin right there growing so uh, that's only one uh, growing so far that uh, that we've seen out there I'll try to keep it watered. Um, it's just, it, it was where our kids had um, done their Halloween pumpkins. And then after Halloween, they threw them out here by the compost and they just sprouted up voluntarily uh, this season. So we've got also uh, watermelon along with a couple of uh, okra plants in here. Um, I think we've got another watermelon I, yeah, but, yep, so we have a watermelon down in there growing, and then of course that watermelon that's right there. Uh, I'm not sure how big that they'll they'll get, but uh, they're not uh, ripe. And then our okra. Yeah, well, the video chopped off there, uh, so we'll pick up from the uh, okra plant. Uh, we've got. Of course, our uh, burpless um, cucumbers right in here. Uh, as I said, you can tell the difference because of all the rain that we've had, the slow growth uh, on, on this trellis uh, versus that trellis there where you got a lot of growth. Um, so, you know, rain can be good and rain can, can be bad. Uh, but we also have our Boston pickling cucumbers over on this side. And I see we've got one right here that's a that's a perfect perfect size right there for pickling then we have our uh, cantaloupes in here uh, we have had about seven cantaloupes 
uh, so far uh, out of here. And it looks like we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more that are growing on, on the vines. Uh, so hopefully we'll keep those really watered in and going. Um, here is uh, our pumpkin replant uh, over here. Not sure if those are going to make it. If it starts getting out of hand, I'm just going to take them out. Uh, but we have our eggplant. And I'll show you. That's doing pretty good. Um, it's about hand size. So it's the first year I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing eggplants. I think that they're doing well. So uh, that's I've got about three of them uh, on there. And... Then another okra plant, and this is our chocolate sprinkle cherry tomato. Uh, if you don't know what those are, I highly suggest um, planting some. They have, if you don't like the, the acid of a tomato, these are really good to have uh, because of the, um, I guess it's a, it's a deep flavor. Uh, to it and so I really like those uh, mixing it in with the other uh, tomatoes um, but I think they would make a, a really good uh, roasted uh, salsa uh, too so anyways I have uh, put down some more uh, mulch uh, down here and you see this here is just grass uh, and that came from I mowed our uh, backfield back here and the past two or three days have just been raking up all the dead grass uh, that is, is back there and it's free mulch you know so why not use it so hopefully you're having a good productive uh, season as we are and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch y'all later